Hi, my name is Jeff Sharp, Senior Product Manager here at ADLINK, responsible for the strategic planning of our Embedded Computing Division. Today I'm going to talk about two key products within the Embedded Computing product line. Uh, they're called Network Appliances, and Network Appliances are placed within the uh, Operator's Network, uh, responsible for things like security, deep packet inspection, video caching, and other key uh, applications that require a high amount of processing power, flexibility, and multiple I.O. options. Two of these products within this portfolio, one is called the CSA 5200, a 2U rack mount network appliance based on the Xeon processor family, and our other is a CSA 5100, which is a 1U rack mounted server product, that's also part of the, uh, the Embedded Computing Division. So let's talk a little bit about market drivers that the network appliance can be put into. There's multiple network verticals that this can actually uh, add value to your customer and also provide high performance for your applications to be driven in mobile and LTE networks. Things like VRAN appliances for BTSs, uh, RNCs, eNodeBs, um, also can be utilized for a virtual EPC core network for first responders, things like FirstNet, and others where there's a need for a private LTE network. Also, this product provides high-performance deep packet inspection and policy enforcement. Also, LTE and next-gen security gateway-based products for access into Wi-Fi networks, untrusted networks, um, firewall protection, next-gen firewall, and other security programs. This can also could be used as a small cell gateway, introducing uh, small cells into the network, uh, introduces untrusted type of environments. So this appliance could be utilized for a, uh, a small cell gateway. Other market verticals is Internet of Things and machine to machine uh, for companies that are focused on transportation, railways, auto, uh, commercial airlines, uh, energy programs, SCADA, drilling, mining. Uh, within the drilling mining industry, talking to a friend, he was saying that the amount of data that's required during a, a drilling operation is significant. So having a product like this network appliances is vital. Also, as we see in the future, uh, data analytics is going to be playing a pretty major role uh, with the deployment of various applications and looking at really almost every application and bit of that application and how uh, that application is running and performing. So you need lots of data analytics, east-west communications, also storage capabilities. Uh, other market verticals are things like the telecom core infrastructure. We have a migration to an environment called network function virtualization. Uh, and software-defined networking, uh, where we see a lot of the LTE and VoIP infrastructure moving to more of a cloud-based environment, really requiring a Xeon uh, heavy-duty performance-based processor, various flexible and scalable I.O. options, and as we move into uh, more media services, things like IMS and unified, convergent, unified communication convergence is also required. Around network and service evolution, as you look at uh, your return on investment and the amount of uh, money that, that is going to be generated, with the appliances, uh, you'll be able to monetize the amount of revenue share that your, your customers are going to be providing around tiered services. You'll have better manageability of things like policy enforcement, over-the-top video, enhanced security having an easy way to package your applications with no unlimited rate plans, device and application specific items, and of course uh, within Moore's Law of the Intel based processors, we're still doing the tick-tock, and there's a lower bit, dollar per bit, and with the new evolution of Intel chipsets, there's new platforms and approaches to deliver it. Within the deep packet inspection application realm, uh, there are uh, many, many areas within deep packet inspection that these two appliances can fulfill. Uh, one is things like content caching, in which you need to do more and more caching at the actual edge of your network. Uh, this is really around things like uh, application caching, uh, video caching, which really caches and, and provides a very positive quality of experience for the customer. 
Another one is application distri distribution, which is layer three, layer seven load balancing, having the ability to load balance your traffic uh, throughout your network at different elements, whether it's in the core element, your unified communications and IMS uh, element, or your edge, having the ability to do load balance is critical. Network and subscriber analytics for quality of service and quality of experience, things like statistical data, subscriber profiling, application usage, just the way to look at the network and the subscriber is going to be vital to engineer these uh, future networks uh, as we progress more into cloud architectures in the telecom market. Uh, content ap uh, adaptation and optimization, having the ability to compress, utilize codecs, uh, do transcoding, and, and really kind of focused on the mobile user's experience and mobile environment. Uh, the big one around deep packet inspection is security, having the uh, uh, security gateways, um, also Wi-Fi gateways, EPDGs, those type of products that offer firewalls. Um, web application firewalls, antivirus, intrusion protection, uh, DDoS protection, and, and data link uh, detection and prevention. Another key element that these uh, appliances can provide is uh, lawful intercept. These are interception and monitoring applications that are utilized by uh, um, our government systems to monitor the bad guys and look at bad guys. So having deep packet inspection to extract data uh, within that message is critical to, uh, to the safety and, and welfare of our, uh, uh, of our communities. Modification and injection, add insertions, add uh, uh, environments, misspelled URLs, the ability to uh, think ahead of what the user is doing is also uh, considered a deep packet inspection application. Um, application policy enforcement where we're doing traffic shaping, content filtering, uh, applying and, and permitting applications to go through my network, and also metering and accounting, looking at uh, uh, the tracking of usage per uh, user, per application, uh, based on the application design, uh, things like timing and dates when the applications are doing, uh, and, and really having the ability to control that from a DPI perspective. So overall, a, a network appliance is really required for this environment. You are bumping the wire, and the most critical aspect is having the ability to have very, very low latency to increase your quality of service and quality of experience for the end user. Um, these network appliances can be used for multiple ver verticals for DPI. You know, you have the mobile networks evolving into LTE. We have a very flat IP network. Uh, you also have fixed broadband and cable in which you would do you know, really a lot of the same things, policy enforcement management, network monitoring, and interception, data mining, profiling systems, billing, intrusion protection, really all the key attributes that I just talked about can be used in cable companies, fixed broadband, and the mobile environments. So why, why are we so different from everyone else? What's some of our key differentiators that we have within our network appliances, the CSA 5100 and the 5200? Well, number one, these are carrier class uh, systems that were really built for the carrier. These are the six, nine attributes for high availability. Um, it is a DPI ready application, so you can focus uh, as a customer and as a provider to the operators really where your um, assets are, and that's your application. So let AD Link deliver you the hardware and then the middleware aspects to build your applications on top of so you can design your, uh, uh, your investments and your deployment specifically for DPI and security. And these are field proven uh, products, uh, and it's also very performance optimized, and it's developed for you. It's rapid and easy deployment, uh, for yourself, you can get to the market quicker because you're building on top of a, a common platform. There's no upfront cost, time to market, and business risk of having to do this yourself, build the server yourself. This is a COTS-based, uh, high availability, carrier-grade platform for DPI. Um, also for security, uh, as we move into more of a mobile environment, we're seeing more and more untrusted uh, networks that are being combined within the LTE uh, infrastructure. 
you know, you're looking at uh, cell towers that are being shared by multiple carriers, or you're looking at small cell technology that's being uh, deployed in shopping centers, apartment buildings, high traffic areas, and then you're seeing the introduction of trusted and untrusted Wi-Fi networks that are having to be integrated within the LTE solution itself. So with that poses security issues because these networks can be considered untrusted. And with this, the uh, CSA 5100 or 5200 appliance can act as a next-gen firewall, network domain security device, home enode B gateway, uh, uh, what we call a Wi-Fi gateway or an EPDG, or an intrusion detection and intrusion protection service that protects your 4G core and your IMS systems for unified communications. For next-gen firewall, it's easy as one, two, three, as this slide uh, projects. On the CSA 5200, we have the ability to accelerate based on our application engine uh, around ARIP, which I'll talk a little bit more about. Uh, we'll have the ability to provide secure because of our uh, content inspection engine, our cryptography that's loaded within the system, and our flow analysis engine to be able to do analyzing more and more of that data that's going across the wire. So for deep packet inspection, again, um, this can be utilized at the gate, gateway edge. It could be utilized in the core. And in this slide, we talk about the GGSN or the packet gateway used as a, uh, a policy enforcement to have the ability to uh, manage control flow, network man management, low tolerance delay, high bandwidth, and operational capabilities. So the key attributes for the network appliance is breakthrough performance, flexibility configurations, and also the introduction of our ARIP program, the AD-Link Application Ready Intelligent Platform. We have breakthrough performance with these Xeon processors and the way that this, these products are engineered. Uh, if you're running native Linux and uh, AD-Link ARIP, we actually offer 11 times greater ability with uh, layer 3 forwarding than you would without the ARIP and the AD-Link uh, network appliance. The other key attribute is as a procurement or as a company, you want to reuse as many products as you possibly can against your different portfolios. And we offer a wide range of uh, I.O. ports and I.O. trays that can be embedded within the, the 5100 and the 5200. Uh, there's a four-port Gigi Copper. There's an eight-port Gigi Copper. We support SFP and SFE Plus ports. That gives you the flexibility and scalability that's required for your specific network needs. We also have embedded within the system called ARIP. This is what uh, AD-Link is providing as an application-ready, intelligent platform. This, again, provides you the ability to focus all of your energies and investments on your application, not the middleware, not the packet management, not the Linux uh, low-level uh, introduction, the BIOS, the tools, the IPMI attributes. All this is pre-integrated within the system. This saves you money, allows you quicker time to market, and gives you greater flexibilities within your product. So why AD-Link? We're an established uh, telecom networking company. We've been around 20 years. We provide flexible pro product portfolios to meet all of your different needs. We're in multiple uh, market verticals. We have top tier one, tier two service providers as our customers. And we offer an application-ready intelligent platform um, called Packet Manager that's specific for our DPI.